Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Make It Over Monday, or Make It Yourself Monday in March, which we are showing you all kinds of different jewelry techniques to use for your dolls when you need more options. Now, we've shown you the classic triple strand. We've shown you a layered double strand. We've shown you a patterned choker. Today, we are going to show you how to work with even smaller, more fun things, like pendant charms. Now, these come in lots of different styles. They are some of my more expensive things to pick up, but you use like one of these per necklace, so it's really not bad when you break it out price-wise. And I wanted to be able to do something cute. Like, if you've seen my coquette dolls on Instagram, then you've already seen me work with these. And that's just with ribbon. And they come across really cute. So, I also have, you've also seen on Wedding Wednesdays, a couple of my pearl necklaces that have these. So there are a bunch of different styles that you can use to really make these appear lifelike. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to maybe experiment with these. These are a little bit more expensive at $2.79 a piece, but I was thinking of doing my very own take on the Givenchy Barbie without using quite as many of these in the necklace as they did. So we are going to try that out. It's essentially on a choker. So we are going to do kind of like a modified version of this necklace but with our, uh, with the pearls on the three points. So we are going to try that. And I'm not sure if it's gonna work because we're gonna have to put two of the big beads on either side of the pearls to make them actually stand in or stay in place because the hole is gonna be bigger. And the pearls are actually the wrong shade if you see that like they're more of a yellowish pearl compared to this pure white so i think i need to look and see if i have that shade in any of my seed beads it's not in this one okay mm -hmm. these are the same shade yeah um, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any print on this over there? Eh. I guess it's going to have to work for now. The beauty of these is that I can always remove them and reassemble them as needed. So we're going to do our first step as always, and that is securing our thread to our chain. So as usual, by now there should be an old hand at doing these. We're just going to secure and then knot a couple of times. Whoop, if I could get my fingers to cooperate.
Okay, so now that we've got that secured, let's take out our big beads. So we're gonna need where we would normally have uh, like four, we're gonna need uh, six plus two in the center. So eight, that actually comes out perfectly. Because um, we would normally have five but we have to add one for every big pearl. And we're gonna do three big pearls on this necklace. So we're gonna put those on the plate and we're gonna get our charms off the backer. So. And that may even still be too big. Um, so what I may do is tie the thread around the chain. I would replace the actual loop, but it's done through the pearl. As you can see down here in the bottom, it's a whole big pin. So what I'll probably do is just pinch this to where it is a little bit tighter because what we want, our goal is to not have our bead, well, maybe just barely won't fit through there. Okay, so that'll be good. Now, if you think I'm a crazy person uh, for the size of these, blame the Givenchy Barbie these are pretty much the exact same sizes of the pearls that were included on that one and there were like 10 of them and it was like a whole collar so what we'll do with those is we'll leave them like that yep and close that back up and set it off to the side so, from there, we will take our thread, and we're going to put our first big bead on there, as we normally do. And then we're going to get our 11-0. The big beads are 8-0, or 8-0. Okay. So we did five and then six for the bottom for the last one. So we'll do that again. This is still gonna be a little bit longer because of the added um, big beads. So it'll be fine. So like that's what it's gonna wind up looking like. I'll show you guys that I'm not crazy here in a bit. Ignore my screaming neighbors, if you can hear them. And then six. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And then we're going to do another one of 
those. Another one of these. And another one of those. Okay. And then we're going to go and do another six. This. Okay. And then our another one. Those. cute so far. And then we're going to take our five for our last one. And then put our big bead on there. And then we're going to put these away, even though we're still going to use more. But I want to be able to actually have my hand free while I am sewing these to the chain. Okay, so we've got this. Again, our standard chain linking protocol. Second time through there. And then we're going to go and weave through our top bead. Okay. So, so far, this is what it looks like. Remember, we're going to go through and we're going to add another layer to kind of combine it with our last one. Okay. So for our first one, we're going to do four. through the first bead, we're going to weave through the pearl and through the second bead. for our second set. Five. Okay. And then we are going to straight that big
There we go. All right. Okay. To where we're getting there. The bad part about holding all of these in my hand is that sometimes I lose beads, but that's okay. My hands are pretty oily, so they hold on to plastic pretty well, or glass in this case. Okay. Okay, got that pretty easy this time. Four for our last one. And the yarn we're gonna put these away so we don't drop any more. Okay. And then like we would normally do, we'll go through and secure these. Okay. And then go through. Okay. All right. And so now we're going to do our standard detaching technique. One above where it's connected. And we're gonna save this extra link because on charms like this, where they come on a big ring, we can snap this little one right on there and make it look much more in scale to Barbie. Okay, and so what we're gonna do we're going to okay. and then we're going to look at how this lays on our mannequin. So we've got that. Our big pearls aren't going anywhere because they're held on there in the right spots. And the color difference isn't too bad of a difference like I was worried about. And you do kind of have to worry about these laying with the right side up. There we go, like that, to where it actually gives that nice arch. But once you get it, 
it looks really cute. And we didn't modify too much from this necklace, but as you can see, they look really different. So you could do this with the little charms if you felt like it. I was going off of the Givenchy Barbie that we had back in the 90s or 2000s. I think she was 1998. Um, but she had a whole collar of these where it was like this one, big bead, or like bigger bead. Um, but this is pretty good off of what we had. I probably could have used, now that I think about it, some of these pearls that I had. Which these are just like craft store pearls. Um which, oh, dang, that would have been the perfect color too. I could, I should have used these small beads. Um, I might remake this later, but for now, this is what I have, and it looks pretty good on its own. So, just remember that if you add larger beads, if you want to keep it at the right length, uh, subtract beads from your small beads. So like if I add in those big beads instead, like these big pearls that are probably a 6-0, instead of the 8-0, I'm gonna take one from the top and one from the bottom out of every section. So that is how you would make your own sort of Givenchy-inspired pearl necklace. And let's see how it looks on a doll. Right. Okay. So, if we do it like that, that is how it would lay. And it looks really cute. Again, you could change up the pattern and do more of these if you wanted to, but at like $3 for 12 of them, I figure you know, probably a better idea to kind of keep them lower. So that is it for Make It Yourself Mondays. So if you guys enjoyed this series, let me know in the comments. If you want to see me attempt to do like earrings or something in the next couple of months, let me know in the comments. And, you know, if this helped you, start to do your own jewelry stuff, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see the creations you guys come up with. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye. All right, y'all. As a little follow-up, I did go ahead and restring those with the larger beads, just because it would pull in the color of the drop beads a little bit better. And I did go ahead and secure that with a little bit of super glue around the thread. So, it's very cute. Let me show you guys how it lays. Now. It's very cute. I love the way it lays. Compared to some of the other ones. We only got one that's a little off. There we go. When you get all the short sides up, it lays perfectly. So this is ready for a strapless dress, like, and a big gala dress. Just, it's gonna look perfect. So, just goes to show that if you get to the end of something and you don't like it, really the only thing that you are losing is essentially this. Let me show you. If you just clip one of your threads the only thing you're losing is three little links of thread, three little links of chain, and then your thread that it was on. So it's great to get practice stuff. If you go back and you're like, well, I really want to use those beads from something else, go back, cut the strand, just redo it. I recommend cutting and going directly into your hand and pushing the beads off with your other hand, just so you don't have to chase beads. So just goes to show, use what you have at hand. Don't 
feel like you're constrained to just using seed beads. Like we used craft beads that came from the Dollar Tree and they work just, just as well. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments. If you guys prefer the first way to the second way, let me know or vice versa. And uh, thanks for watching the Make It Over Mondays here in March. Be good, y'all. Bye.